What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and this is the Neobot, and this is the N1. This is one of the first generations, I believe, if not the first generation Neobot. Now it's called Mia Casa. And I love this thing. I just, I had it for like, I think about five years. And now it's time for a battery swap. Yeah, every time I run the robotic vacuum, after five minutes it just dies and just lays there in the middle of the floor. So... Hopefully I can get it back up and running just swapping out the battery. And what I really like about Neobot, or Neocasa now, is that they have a great service department. I contacted them um, through their website, and, and they shipped me out another battery. How awesome is that? Yeah. So even though it's out of warranty, you have to buy the battery, you still save a lot of money because these things are not cheap. There are, I think, around four to five hundred dollars. This is a self-emptying robotic vacuum slash mop. And meanwhile, while we have it taken apart, might as well maintain it, right? So take out the brushes and clean all this stuff out. This actually wears and tears on the battery because the motors struggle when there's hair wrapped around each motor. And so it causes the motor to strain, it causes the battery to push. And, and actually, um, you know, eats away at the battery faster because of the hair or the resistance the hair is causing on the motor. And so we're going to take care of all this. Look at that. And you can actually buy the brushes and you can get the battery. Um, you could buy the main brush. You know, all the parts basically they have available on their website. And as a technician, this is one of the things I look for in a company, a company that stands behind their product and has parts ready available for you to actually buy to maintain your robotic vacuum. even comes with a little brush and razor so you can cut the hair out you can see plenty of brushes right there so we're gonna go ahead and swap those out using electronic spray right here and I'm going to clean the pads, the charging pads. Clean this up a little bit too as well. Oh, look at that hair. Oh my god. Jeez. There's a lot of hair. Let me go ahead and clean that off a little bit.
Probably should have used a smaller screwdriver. Okay. You know, if I swap out the battery, just pinch and you get to pull that off. 16.8 volt battery, 5200 milliamp hours and rated capacity 5,000 milliamp hours. So I think it's the same. Yep, it's the same. Same exact numbers. It's this way with the little clip facing this way. This one, uh, the clip is almost broken. Yeah, it feels broken. Should be fine though. I guess the heat got to it. There we go. I think it goes this way. I'm pretty sure. Feels pretty snug. Make sure you don't stab yourself prying this out. There we go. There we go. Pretty inexpensive, so not a big deal. Right. It's labeled L, L, left. And then this is R, matches up with R. That's right. They really made this so user friendly to maintain. I love it. I love companies that allow you to fix their products and they have the parts available for you to actually fix their products. They don't force you to buy new products like Apple does. I had it backwards. There it goes. Yep. Spins freely. These feel pretty good. Probably gonna have to replace the wheels eventually. But so far, so so good. Yeah. And then this spins freely. And all these spin. So we're good. Yup. Got it. It's in the kit. I've been cleaning it for the last couple of years, but it's time to change it out, I think. There you go. So if you do swap it out, you know, you know what to do. There you go. Got to get in it. Yeah, it's in. All right, let's see if it works. Hopefully I didn't break it more than it was. Clean it up a little bit, right? On top. Another robotic vacuum saved from the dumpster. And last, I'm gonna change out the bag. I think it's time. If you guys found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that has a robotic vacuum you'd like to share this video to, to help someone out, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.